What's going on guys? This is Tito with All Day DFS and I hope y'all guys are having a great year. A great year because I've been gone for six months. I've been out of this out of this game for six months, but guess what? NBA's back, so I'm back and I'm here to help y'all with all I can. I'm gonna try to give y'all the best picks that I can and hopefully it'll help y'all win some money. Let me know how y'all guys been doing down below. Let me know if y'all guys been winning. Let me know if y'all guys been tearing it up. Let me know if y'all guys been waiting for the NBA to come back. You know, I had life happen. I had a, a, a personal matters to attend to. So I was out of this for six months. I needed to clear my head, clear my mind. And now I'm back. Now I'm ready. And I'm going to be here with y'all guys for the whole NBA season. And I'm going to try to do some other sports as well. Some football and whatever else I can help y'all with. So big shout out to everybody. Big shout out to everybody in the Discord, the Water Discord. Hope y'all, you know, y'all guys have been a big help. And um, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Uh, my first play, uh, so obviously... Um, Today, it's only the second day of the season. We had a couple games last night. So we don't have that much information. We don't know rotations. We don't know how the rookies are going to, you know, if, you know how they're going to play, how many minutes they're going to get. We basically don't know nothing. We're basing a lot of stuff off, off of last year. Um, so that's what I'm doing kind of today. I'm going to give you all guys my favorite picks. And, and, um, and it's not going to be a very informative top five because, again, we don't have we don't have that information. We don't have the stats. We don't have the numbers to go by yet for this season. So, um, the way I make my picks, guys, is that I base it off of different sheets, different sites, and the good old gut. So, I've never said that I'm an expert. You know, I'm here to help y'all guys hopefully fill a line if y'all need another player or two. Uh, if maybe y'all didn't think about, you know, this prop or not. Um, never said that I was an expert. Um, I don't expect to go, you know, 100 for 100. I did pretty well last year. Um, but... Hopefully I can help y'all guys. So let's get right into it. The, the the first person that I like, my my favorite play of the day, is Julius Randle, four and a half assist. Guys, last year consistently he crushed this consistently. Um, I made a lot. I made a good amount of money off of him um, with the assists because they would you know he would always get over four and a half, over five, over five and a half consistently. And um, he's usually an, I mean for for being a forward, you know he's an assist machine. I definitely like that. That's my favorite play of the day. Al Horford is out. I don't know if Al Horford would have been covering him, but he's a center and he's you know pretty good defensively. So that that gives us you know that they might double him more. He might be more trouble inside without Al Horford. So maybe they'll double him more. Some more passes out to the outside or whatever. Either way, I like this four and a half over all day with Randall. Until I see otherwise. Again, we're going based off of what happened last year, but. He crushed it last year. He averaged 5.7 assists versus the Celtics last year. So, four and a half seems low. You know, again, price picks don't know either how they're going to... Nobody knows, you know, what this year entails. So, I like Julius Randle over four and a half assists for my first pick. <clears throat> my favorite pick of the day. The next pick, um, we kind of uh, brainstormed uh, last night in the Discord. And... Um, the homie, the homie Alex, big shout out to Alex out there. He's been killing it, killed it last night. Um, pointed this one out to me, and when he did, I really did like it as well. We got Daniel Gafford um, under 11 and a half points. Um, you know, we know he got traded. He did well when he got traded to Washington last year, but I think he only averaged around 10, 10, I don't know, 10 points, something like that, 10.7 something. I don't remember, but it was under 11 and a half. Um, and again, until until we know more uh, right now i don't see him going over 12 uh, i mean going over 11 and a half i don't see him getting 12 points not on the first night not um this really seems like a really solid play um you got dinwiddie you know who's going to be taking shots of course we got bradley beal we got kuzma we got we got a lot of people that are that are probably going to be taking a lot of shots and i don't see him being the focal point uh you know or, not, or even a second or third option on the offense nothing like that I mean, he could get a couple putbacks. I see him maybe getting eight to ten points, but um, we we don't see him going over eleven and a half. So we definitely like this uh, this play right here for today. Daniel Gafford under eleven and a half points. Next, this is a play that I like. Um, I like Jalen Green over fourteen and a half points. Um, again, we we don't have numbers, we don't have the stats, we don't have information, but this is Jalen Green's debut. Um, I really, I think they just added Aaron Fournier. That was funny how that just happened right there. This is his debut. He's going up against Minnesota, which, um, last year was not a good defensive team. 
And I could see him and Anthony Edwards just having kind of like a shootout. That's what I'm kind of thinking. Uh, I think Anthony Edwards is going to want to say, hey, you know what, I'm the best young guard in the league, blah, blah, blah. And so they're going to go at it. And I could see I could see Green definitely getting 16 or more points um, his day, you know, on his debut. So I definitely I feel like 14 and a half is too low. So I like Jalen Green on the over on points. <clears throat> Next we have... This is kind of a, um, you know, I like the play, but I've seen a lot of people like it as well. So it's kind of like a community pick, more or less. Um, <clears throat> a lot of people are liking it. We like Lonzo Ball over six assists. And a lot of some people are saying, well, why? Why do you like it? I mean, you have to keep in mind, you do have DeMar DeRozan who gets, you know, who gets quite a bit of assist himself, you know, for his position and stuff like that. But we're just basing it off of, you know, he's Lonzo Ball's a facilitator. He's gonna be, you know, he's a he's a point guard, obviously, and he got all these weapons around him. He got Zach Levine. He got, you know, Vukic. Vuc Vuc I can't even say that right. Vooch. He got Vooch, and of course he has DeRozan, and um, you know he got those weapons, and we we see him distributing the ball like that. So we like we like the over on six assists for Lonzo Ball. Now Lonzo Ball. Um, I could have made a lot of money last year on him on some different nights, uh, but the rotations were just terrible. Sometimes they didn't put him in the whole fourth quarter, and all I needed was one, you know, a bucket or assist just for him to go over, and he didn't play the whole fourth quarter. The, the rotations for the Pelicans, I think it was Stan Van Gundy, was just terrible with him in particular. So I'm hoping that the Bulls don't don't play that game. I'm hoping he gets a good amount of minutes. I'm hoping he plays the fourth quarter, all that good stuff. So. We like them tonight for over six assists. And like I said, it's a community pick. So if you got more than one person, more, you know, of these guys that are killing it, you know, in, in the Discord, and they all, a lot of them are seeing this over six assists and they're liking it, why not go ahead and go with it? So again, this is a community pick, and we like Lonzo Ball over six assists. And my, my other one here, the last one, the fifth pick, I like, I like Terry Rozier. For the under, he's at four and a half assists. So basically, he has to get he has to get five assists versus the Pacers. Now, last year versus the Pacers, I have it here on the screen. Last year versus the Pacers in three games, he only got he averaged two point seven assists. So again, we can only base it you know more or less off what happened last year. Um, you know, Lamelo's going to be playing. Um, you know, he's they have him for six and a half assists. You know, Lamelo's the main ball handler and all that stuff. I see Terry Rozier more of the, you know, spot up guy, the scorer. So I, I this is one of my, this is one of my favorite plays. I haven't seen nobody, you know, pick this play. So I definitely like Rozier. I'm on Rozier under on assist and Randall over on assist. Those are like probably my favorite plays with with the Gafford uh, under on points as well. But anyways, I just don't see Scary Terry getting five assists on the first night. I see him, you know, again, spotting up, trying to, you know, being the scorer. He uh, he had some really good scoring nights last year. He was, you know, he got hot a lot. So um, I don't see him going over four and a half assists. Again, that's my pick. I haven't seen nobody else um, pick that. But follow at your own risk. Like I said, guys, I'm not a guru. I'm not, you know, I'm not, I've never claimed to be a guru. I, um before i i um went away for six months i was definitely you know pretty much killing it um what i, what I had as my total you know made with with price picks was a lot higher than a lot of people that i see now that are way above me they don't they don't pass me by but i was on pace and i was keeping up with all the you know the gurus and all the guys that are killing it on twitter and stuff like that but it's all good we're back and i'm trying you know like i said i'm gonna help y'all guys so that's my top five to, for today. I got a, a bonus one that I'm liking. Um, this one's another one that I haven't seen nobody really pick. Um, follow at your own risk. Um, but I just, I don't know, for whatever reason, I just see Anthony Edwards being aggressive tonight. I see him trying to, to show up Jalen Green. I see him trying to say, hey, you know, make a statement. Hey, I'm, I'm the, the best young guard in the NBA, blah, blah, blah. Again, it's just a gut feeling, but I see him making more than two and a half free throws. I really do. I see him making at least four, three to four, whatever, as long as he gets over two and a half. But um, I don't know why. I really, that one kind of stuck out to me, and I really think that um, he's going to get over those two and a half free throws. So, again, let's go ahead and recap it for y'all guys. We got we got uh, Julius, Julius Randle over four and a half assists. Really like that one. That's my favorite pick. We got Gafford under 11.5 points. 
We got Jalen Green over 14 and a half points. We got Lonzo, Lonzo Ball over six assists. We got Rozier under four and a half assists. And then we got, for the bonus pick, we got Anthony Edwards over two and a half free throws. So again, guys, I hope y'all guys can add this to your line. I hope y'all guys bank, make that money. Let me know down below who you guys are liking. Uh, you know, of course, I could use the help too. Let me know if y'all see some props that y'all like. Let me know if y'all see some fantasy scores that y'all like. I'm not really going to... It's kind of hard to go into to fantasy because you really, like, again, we don't have the numbers. We don't have the stats. But fantasy is, is also a, a really good way of winning. Um, price picks doesn't do a good job at, at that sometimes. Sometimes they'll put the you know, person really high, really low, whatever. Either way, um, let me know what y'all guys think down below. Let me know what y'all are liking. And um, I'll check back in with y'all guys uh, tomorrow. So y'all guys have a great day.